Naam, hali gani na karibu katika matangazo ya moja kwa moja kutoka ndani ya balozi Marekani. Hii ni balozi leo nami ni Mohamed Mvumbagu ambapo leo tunaangalia masuala ya muziki, programs za mabadilishano ya muziki tukiwa tuko na sanawa uh, balozi wa sanaa, balozi wa muziki kutoka Marekani anaitwa Denny Bonnet. Lakini leo siko peke yangu. Leo nitakuwa niko na mrembo ambaye atakuwa anansaidia katika kipindi anaitwa Karen Naso. Lakini vile pia tulikuwa tuko na Joshua Mlaya ambaye yeye ni mratibu wa programu za mabadilishano kutoka ndani ya balozi wa Marekani. Karibu. Takuna gita Naam, kama nilivyokuwa nimekujuza basi leo tuko na Joshua Mlaya ambaye ni mratibu wa programu za mabadilishano kutoka ndani ya barabara za Marekani. Habari yako tena Joshua? Salama, salama. Karibu sana studio yetu. Naam, lakini vile pia niko na Karen Naso ambaye atakuwa ananisaidia katika kuweza kuuliza maswali lakini pia katika kuongoza na kuratibu kipindi chote bado leo siku ambayo hautaiona hii sura utaiona sura ya Karen Naso. Habari tena Joshua na karibu sana katika studio zetu. Hebu tuambie programu ya mabadilishano hususan ni kwa kuwaleta Uh, mabalozi wa muziki mmeianza kwa muda gani uh, kusema ukweli balozi na programs nyingi za mabadilishano ikiwemo programs za kuleta uh, wasanii kutoka Marekani kuja Tanzania mm-hmm. na hizi program kwa kweli zina zaidi ya miaka 15 nitasema ndio na labda mshaleta wasanii wangapi kutoka Marekani mpaka sasa ah, wasanii wapo wengi uh, lakini kwa kipindi cha hivi karibuni tumeoleta wasanii karibia saba mm. kwenye miaka miwili zilizopita wana muziki kutoka Marekani uh, kuna group moja inaitwa Natalia Zuckerberg ikaja mwaka 2017 mm-hmm. uh, mwaka mwaka huu mwezi wa tatu tutaita group nyingine inaitwa Heart Society na mwezi wa nane tupata bahati ya kumleta Deni Bone uh, currently fikiri labda wameshaita msanii kama Beyonce hivi unajua yeah. ingependeza sana lakini hao ni wasanii ambao mnaangalia ama mna vigezo gani vya kuangalia wasanii yani tunachokiangalia ni wasanii ambao kweli ni wanamuziki wazuri uh, kwenye kipande cha kuimba kupiga ku, vyombo lakini pia ambao wanaweza ku, kufundisha wanafunzi kama kwa mfano Deni akuja kwa 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 jia kuleta wa, kufanya warsha Zanzibar yeah. okay na labda katika wasanii ambao wameshafika mpaka sasa ni wasanii wangapi ambao washafanya shughuli zao Zanzibar uh, ambao wamefanya shughuli zao Zanzibar nitasema Deni atakuwa ni wa kwanza Deni wa kwanza atakuwa ni wa kwanza Deni. na atakuwa hapa kwa muda gani amekuwepo ame Tanzania kwa kipindi cha mwezi mmoja alikuwa chuo kikuu kinachoitwa Dow Countries Music Academy kilichopo mm-hmm. Zanzibar na ni chuo ambacho kwa kweli kinaendeleza sanaa ya Kizanzibari ndio na labda tukiangalia kwa haraka haraka Karen mm-hmm. ni kwamba kuna wasanii wengi hapa ambao wanapiga vyombo ambao wanafanya uh, muziki kwa kuonyesha ladha halisi ya muziki kutumia vyombo mbalimbali mm-hmm. labda deni yeye anapiga violin Mm-hmm. Zanzibar ameenda kufanya na wanamuziki ambao wanacheza vyombo vya aina gani? Ah, vyo mchanganyiko. Alipokuwa pale DCMA kwa kweli aliche, ali, alifanya kazi na, wanaf, na walimu na wanaf, alifanya kazi na walimu pia na wanafunzi. Lakini sana sana ukifanya utafiti, uh, mziki wa tarabu unatumia sana violin. Kwa hiyo alikuwa na vipindi vya kufundisha wanafunzi wa violin lakini pamoja na hapo pia uh, wacheza gita, mm-hmm. ngoma na vyombo mbalimbali. Dala. Sasa tukiangalia kwa namna nyingine tena masuala ya program za muziki namna hii na program gani nyingine ambazo mnazifanya mbali na program za kuleta uh, mabalozi za muziki kama uh, mtaalamu wa mabadilishano program za mabadilishano uh, kuna program zipo nyingi zipo program za kupeleka watanzania kwenda marekani kusoma uh, zipo program pia za kuwapeleka watanzania kujifunza masuala mbalimbali uh, mambo ya ukulima biashara vitu mbalimbali ndio kama ndio kwanza unajiunga nasi kumbuka kwamba hii ni ubalozi ni leo nami ni Mohamed Vumbagu nikiwa niko pamoja na Karen Naso lakini vile vile pia tuko na mtaalamu wa masuala ya mabadilishano ya program za elimu pamoja na tamaduni mm. kutoka ndani ya balozi za Marekani bwana Joshua Mlai na leo tunazungumzia uh, program ya mabadilishano ya balozi wa sanaa Arts Envoy kutoka Marekani leo tutakuwa tuko na Deni Bone ambaye ametoka uh, moja kwa moja kutoka New York huyu ni New Yorker ambaye amekuja hapa kuweza kukutana nasi lakini vipi tutacheza tutapata uh, burudani ya muziki hapa studio moja kwa moja kutoka kwake akicheza violin Joshua 
Mikiruli tena kwako. Kabla yeah. Karen aje kuuliza swali lake moja la msingi alafu tukaenda kupata mapumziko. Jana ajuzi kulikuwa kuna program ambayo ilikuwa tamasha fupi ambayo ilikuwa inafanyika mkishirikiana na bendi kutoka Zanzibar. Ndio. Ni bendi gani ambayo mlikuwa mshirikiana nayo? Band tulishirikiana nayo inaitwa Stone Town Rockers mm -hmm. wapo pale Zanzibar ni bendi ya vijana wapo tano. Mm. Uh, na kwa kweli walifanya ushirikiano mzuri sana na Deni na pia kabla ya kipindi uh, kuanza nadhani nimeona clip fupi mm. ya jinsi walikuwa wanafanya nyimbo ya utakuna kichwa eh, utakuna uta kichwa <laughs> <laughs> labda ni uh, vigezo gani ambavyo mnatumia katika kuweza kuchagua uh, bendi ya kuweza kufanya na ama shirika la kuweza kushirikiana nalo kwenye kupeleka wasanii ama watu mbalimbali mabalozi mbalimbali uh, kikubwa kwa kweli ni uh, kuna njia mbili aidha sisi ni mara nyingi ni kwamba hiyo shirika inapendekeza inakuja kwetu inatoa maombi kwamba kuna mtu fulani ningependa kufanya naye kazi mm -hmm. kuna uwezekano wa kumleta Marekani ya kumcontact huyo mtu nafu ndio ina inakuwa gaifu Karen yes swali lako lolote kwa Joshua mimi nina swali ah uh, je yeah, kuna wanamuziki wa Tanzania wameshakwenda kwenye program hii Marekani au nchi nyingine wakishirikiana waki na ubalozo wa Marekani hapa Tanzania? Ndiyo, lakini program hiyo inaitwa Center Stage. Mm -hmm. Ni program maalum ya kuwapeleka wasanii wa Tanzania wa nchi mbalimbali kwenda Marekani kufanya tamasha. Kwa mfano, uh, tulipeleka band moja ya Tarab uh, na mwaka jana mwaka juzi tulipeleka band moja ya Sengele. Mm -hmm. Marekani ndio wakafika Washington DC wakatumbuiza vizuri sana na watu wengi kwa hiyo kuna shabiki wakubwa sana wa Sengele kule Marekani pia. Niliona ilikuwa ni Jagua wale kwa yes. kule. Jagua Music ndio. Ah uh, si pati picha wa Marekani <laughs> nikiona wanasema buka <laughs> na Sengele wanakuwa wanacheza namna gani. Okay kama ndio kwa jiunga nasi hii ni balozini leo kumbuka kwamba unaweza kwa comment swali lako lolote kuhusiana na program hii za mabadilishano za mabalozi ama wasanii. Uh, mabalozi wa sanaa tuseme uh, lakini vipi pia chochote ambacho nataka kuweza kufahamu kuhusiana na program za mabadilishano kwa bwana Joshua Mlai yuko hapa ataweza kuweza kutujuza uh, na kutufahamisha zaidi tulikuwa tuna tamasha moja zuri sana pale uh, ilikuwa ni Little Theater tukiwa tuko na Benny Bonnet lakini vipi vipi wakishirikiana na Zanzibar Rockers Stone Town Tunet? Rockers Stone, Stone Town Rockers tunaenda kupata mapumziko mafupi alafu tukirudi tutarudi na Benny Bonnet hapa studio tulitambulishwa kwa mwanamuziki Danny Bonnet anayetoka nchini Marekani. Danny, welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Karibu. Um, so, tell us a bit about your musical background. Well, my musical background is that I've been classically trained mm -hmm. and um, after I finished music school, I really wanted to do theater and um, I had to study my violin because I was paid to go to school, they gave me a scholarship, so I couldn't do the theater that I wanted to do. So I managed to do both once I got out of school. I just wanted to really not wear black and sit still in an orchestra. So I ended up playing in rock bands while I was in college, and then afterward I was very lucky that I met a lot of pretty famous people and got to tour, mm -hmm. and tour all over the world, and um, keep up my, my music. So that's kind of my background, um, you know, classically trained, and I like to rock out. For how long maybe you have been playing uh, violin? Many years. 
like? <laughs> like really? a lot. Since I was this big. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I started piano when I was four. You never ask a woman her age, okay? What was that? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Um, I started piano when I was four, and I started violin when I was ten. And um, been playing ever since. Wow, what an experience. So is this your first time in Tanzania? It's actually my second time in Tanzania. Okay. Um, I came here a year and a half ago um, in January when it was really hot. But um, I did the safari, mm -hmm. and we did a week safari ar around the Serengeti and, um, you know, the tourist things. And mm -hmm. it was, to me, life-changing, absolutely life-changing to, uh, to see the, uh, the migration and the crater and Lake Banyera. And then, then the last week, that we did another week in Zanzibar uh, where we did beach, beach, then a couple of days in Stonetown, and I ended up... Uh, meeting some of the musicians from the, the academy, from the Dow Countries Music Academy, and I ended up going to the school and doing a little workshop and um, a little mini concert, and they asked me if I would like to come back to do a residency, and I was, sure, let's do a residency. Um, and then they worked with the embassy to get me back. Kuyo, then yeye ameshafika Tanzania mara mbili. Mara ya kwanza ilikuwa ni alipokuja kutembelea mbuga za kitalii hapa kama mtalii, sivyo? Mm -hmm. Lakini vile vile pia baada ya hapo alikuwa tena ndo hii ni mara ya pili kuweza kufika. Mm -hmm. Allah. I didn't get any of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you should practice. But it. I'm working on yeah, it. You should Mamo. practice it. <laughs> Paul. Oh, yes. Habari. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so your residency has been a month long? A, a whole month, yeah. So what are your goals after you complete your residency here? Oh, to sleep for about a week, but unfortunately I go back and I have, I have shows. I, I get off the plane on Wednesday and I have shows Friday and Saturday, so I don't have a lot of time to, to, to recuperate. But um, my goals are to seriously sit back and think about everything that I just experienced, which was remarkable. And um, I, I would love to come back. That's one of my biggest goals. I love it here. I truly love it here. Tanzania would love to have you back. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, I, I would yeah, <laughs> of course. Would it be good music? Well, it's up to you guys. I'm coming <laughs> back. Good music. Of course. We'll come back at any time. So, uh, tell us, uh, would you like maybe uh, to have some more collaboration with more artists? Um, absolutely. Absolutely. I would also like to work with these, the Stonetown Rockers again. They are so good. I mean, I believe in my heart of hearts that the Stonetown Rockers um, have what it takes. They have that little spark. There's something that you meet, you know. Um, Arasto is an amazing singer. I mean, his voice, you know, really hits a special nerve with me that I think is um, world class. And I think they're all world class players. They just need to be whipped into shape a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we did that, you know. Mm -hmm. I was worked with them on their performance and their stage presence. And we, we worked on, you know, really on their arrangements and, you know, stressing the fact that, you know, you're not a bar band. You're more than that. You can't just jam forever. You have to have arrangements. And, you know, it was wonderful. They listened to me, and it was great. And I listened to them because these were a lot of rhythmical things in, in their music that weren't completely natural to me. But, you know, once you feel it, you feel it. <laughs> what that are you holding? That is a, it's actually an acoustic electric violin, so um, it does have, you know, uh, little plugs here. So and does it goes. work? Yeah, you, you want to hear it? You sure? Can we play something with sure. it? Sure. Okay, come on, we're going to go to the next one. 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 Kutoka kwa Danny Bonet, ambaye anatuburudisha hapa studio, alafu tutarudi tena na Karen, akiwa na maswali zaidi.
Whoa. Wow. What a music. Quite a talent. Woo! <laughs> For many, many years you've been playing violin. Do you play any other instrument? I do. I How many instruments do you play? How many instruments? Can we count them? <laughs> sure. You um, can. I play piano. Uh -huh. uh, piano is um, a main instrument for me. Um, I play viola, which is like a large version of this. Mm -hmm. I play guitar. Um, I play ukulele. Uh, I play accordion. I love my accordion. And um, that's, that's about it. Did you try any other uh, African music, musical instruments? Um, not really, because they use violin. Mm. So um, <laughs> I didn't have time. I was working from morning to night. I had really seriously in the whole month, I think I had two days off. Okay. Um, and, and I'm happy about that. I'd rather work than not work. So we rehearsed. And um, and gigged. I gigged with the with the band too. I, we went out. We went to uh, Nungwe, and we went to Upendo. We drove all night. Got back at like three o'clock in the morning, and then next morning turned right around and went back out the next day. So, um, and then I did workshops. A lot of workshops. I did a lot of songwriting workshops while I was here teaching. Um, basically, everyone wanted to know how you improvise, and I was working with them on how to improvise, how to make it up as you go along, mm -hmm. and um, stressing that, with, especially with Western music, with rock and roll, there are no rules, you know. You, you, you just got to feel it from here, you know. And they got that part. You great. seem to have a lot uh, in common with Zanzibarian uh, musician that you've been playing with last time. What did you learn from them? Oh, gosh. I learned pole pole. <laughs> <laughs> I learned you need to slow down, did he? Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I learned from them mostly the, the rhythm, you know, a lot of the, the, the different rhythms that I didn't, don't incorporate, which I'm going to try to incorporate some of it in my music. I'm working on a new album. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, just, it was just a beautiful exchange. Um, because I got to be there for so long, I, I, from what I understand, a lot of the Arts Envoy uh, programs with musicians are often pretty quick, you know, in that you'll go in for maybe, you know, maybe a week or, or, or less, you know, do concerts, do workshops, but this was different. I got to do five workshops in songwriting, and I did a workshop with all violinists, you know, where there were like eight of uh, eight violins and I was teaching them how to help each other you know I'm not gonna be here so you've got to help her you know and stuff like that and um, and then working with the band so um, I brought a lot of music with me so I shared that with the school okay. you know and uh, maybe uh, what's the piece of advice that you have for Tanzanian artists especially musicians oh wow punctuality You've got to learn how to be punctual. Um, that is, uh, that's a biggie, you know. Um, uh, there's, there is a, a different attitude uh, uh, about being to a sound check or being to rehearsal on time and things like that. And I was tough. I was really tough, you know. It's like if we're going to rehearse at 4 o'clock, you've got to be there at 4 o'clock. You know, and play at four o'clock, not just plug in at four o'clock, but play at four o'clock. You know, things like that. So I would say, don't be known as the musician who's always late. Be known as the musician who is always early. So. Bila shaka hakuja ni ushauri mzuri lakini bila shaka pia hakuja fahamika kusema sakata la foleni za hapa na pale ambazo pia zina 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 eleweka. Awe sivyo. Yes, labda uh, kitu cha mwisho cha kuzungumza na Deni kabla tuja waga watazamaji. Well, Deni, you've been around the world? Yes. What had, which out of all the countries that you've traveled to, which one is your favorite, your most favorite? My most favorite, I have to tell you. I'm right here. I'm in my yes. hap I'm in my happy place right here. I was I hoping you'd say that. I am <laughs> not making it up. I, you know, one of the th other things about having been for a month in Zanzibar, which is heaven, you know, it's, it's paradise, it's amazing. Um, I got to really, really live the life. I had an apartment, I had to go and go to the market and, you know, and, and 
by tomatoes, and I had to really be a part of it. I met my neighbors, and I got to know people, and um, and be part of a little community. And I feel, and, and they're all we're all writing to each other now, and I feel like that's really different than if I had just gone in, stayed at a hotel, played a couple of shop workshops, and a couple of concerts. This was total immersion, and not that my Swahili is any better. But I'm working on it. Uh, yesterday, I actually I went to an orphanage yesterday and played for the kids, and mm -hmm. and they sang for me, and it was beautiful. It was absolutely but in, in Bagamayo, oh, yeah. and um, it was totally moving. And I, I was there for a couple of hours, and I actually had each of the kids play my violin, mm -hmm. which is why it was so amazingly out of tune. <laughs> <I guess. laughs> a lot of tuning to do, but um, you know they all. I've got pictures and pictures of each kid. You know, and I'd, I'd have them put it under their chin like this, you see. Mm -hmm. yeah, come on, you can do it. Yeah, can I? looking good. <laughs> they did it like this. Here, hold that. Okay. You're going to learn how to play. You're going to yes. play right this. this That's is what a very good this opportunity. Is, that you this can is have. what I did with the kids. Okay, now hold that just like that. Okay. And what we would do, all the kids would go, Karen, 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 Karen. Wow. Just like that. And it was beautiful. That was lovely. Yeah. I'm going to learn how to play violin. See, and that's <laughs> what I want them to do now. It was great. Okay. Here, give her back that thing. Oh. Don't Thank run you. off with her pen. <laughs> All right. Come on, come on. You can ask me to come here. You're going to see Leo, Nami, Mohammed, and Vumbagu. Tupo na Danny Bonet, like in the VVP, tupo na Karen Naso, and by Atakwepo, Kadri Sikus and Vazidi Kwenda, and Surampi and Boyo, he may car hapa. Then we shall fit on your body. I'm a city. Nick on your body. Uh huh. Kwa upande wa maswali ama maoni ambayo umetunga ambayo umetuma kwa siku hii leo tunaomba radhi kutokana na muda kuweza kukimbia zaidi lakini tunashukuru sana kwa kawewe ambaye uh, umejiunga nasi kuanzia mwanzo mpaka mwisho wa matangazo haya hadi wakati mwingine Kwa heri kwa <laughs>